Hi, I'm John with Perfusion Studio and I'm really happy to introduce a new product that I think is going to be a, a big hit with all of you out there. It's called Satin Shimmers and basically it is a dichroic coated mica decal or water slide transfer that you can fuse into your uh, glass or even ceramics for that matter. The product comes in a package like this. It's a four and a half by four and a half uh, water slide transfer. Comes complete with instructions on each one. Uh, there are seven colors gold, silver, copper, rose, lilac, iris, and mint. And we have them all laid out here in, in front. Now, Every color comes with a black backing, which is, it starts out like this. We put a black layer uh, of enamel down, and then we lay the color on top of it because it is a dichroic color, and it needs a black background to really pop. So if we look over here, just over to your right, we'll see that we have uh, the unpackaged product and each color has a little fired square of uh, the glass with it on it so you can see the difference between what it looks like after it's fired and before it's fired now the ones that show up real good are the ones that have the black backing on them we have three that look pretty much like a pale color and these are representative of the translucent the three translucent colors that we have iris mint and lilac and these do not have a black backing on them but this is this color this is this color and this is this color but it doesn't have a black backing on it just like dichroic glass if, it, if it's on clear uh, it doesn't do much till you put it behind something behind it to, uh, that would cause it to reflect a different color so that's going to be kind of interesting. I'll show you what we can do with some of the translucent colors uh, as well. So we've got uh, seven colors, all of them on a black background, and three of the cool colors, uh, iris, mint, and lilac on the translucents. So how do we use these? Well, let's first talk about the tools that you're going to need. You'll need a, a bowl of uh, distilled water, uh, some alcohol, uh, to clean your glass, a way to cut the decals. You can either use punches, a knife, scissors, even a Cricut machine to, can, can cut these out. Uh, you're going to need a kiln, some paper towels, and that's about it. We're ready to go. All right, so uh, I'm going to make a glass tile uh, design with circles on it. I've taken the liberty of going ahead and punching a bunch of these circles out using these uh, various sizes punches here. So I'm just going to put them in the water. You want to put them in there for, oh, a, a while. Uh, I'd say about 30 or 40 seconds and they'll, they'll start to soak off. I'm putting the bigger ones in first because when you use these decals and you're going to overlap them, the, the decals that you put on first will look like they're in the foreground. In other words, uh, they don't stick to one another. And when you overlap them, the ones that you overlap that you think are going to be on top, they'll look like they're in the background. It's kind of an unusual little twist of things. So I'm going to start out with the big ones first. And put them in there. And in another few seconds, they'll start coming off the paper. They'll start sliding. See how that one's starting to slide there just a little bit? I'm going to leave that in just a little while longer. You can see where it's starting to come off the paper just a, a tad bit. It's not quite ready. And you want to leave them on the paper. Uh, they can float off the paper. And if that happens, maybe I can get one to float off the paper. What you do is you take the get a hold of this, let's say this one floated off the paper, you can you can take the paper that's down the bottom, pick it up with your tweezers, and bring that up and pick the decal up. 
If you just try to pick the decal up, it'll fold up on itself and, and you'll have a mess. So you bring it over here and you wet your surface that you're going you're gonna to use it on and you just slide the decal off. And get the surface wet so you can adjust the decal once it's on the surface. You want to get all the, the wrinkles out of it. And once you got a wet surface, you can move it around. I'm going to wet this surface a little more. And we'll get this so we can slide it around. And when you get it to where you want it, you take your paper towel and you blot it dry and you kind of use a rolling motion inside to out like that and you want to make sure it's stuck everywhere and you can kind of turn your tile to the side and if you see any like little bubbles or ridges that means you still need to blot okay so since I want the big ones to be in the foreground I'm putting them on first okay so here I'm going to pick this lilac one up and I'm going to overlap it now since they don't stick to one another, when this comes out of the kiln and we wash it off, this gold is going to look like it's on top of that, uh, that uh, lilac color right there. So here again, put it on, blot it, make sure I get all the bubbles out, and all the wrinkles out. So it's going to go pretty fast. I'm going to do the, the copper one now. Notice how I started it. Well, let's get the let's get the small side over there like this. Let's see if we can. Since the surface is wet, you want to keep the surface wet where you're putting the decal. You can slide it around. Let's make that overlap there a little bit. Now notice how it's kind of wrinkled. I want to, as I'm blotting that, I want to make sure all the bubbles are out, and then it's especially around the edges where it's overlapping. I want to make sure that's stuck all the way down in there. So you just keep adding your circles on. Let's say we don't have a, a mint colored yet, so we'll go with the smaller size and we'll come down here with the mint color. So we can get all the different colors in for you to see. Let's do uh, an iris up in the corner here, the next size, like that. And uh, we can do this one over here. And you can even kind of wrap it around the edges. I'll do this one here where you can see it goes around the edge. These are pliable. They'll, they'll, they don't have to be just on flat surfaces. Uh, when we do the video on the ceramics, you'll see that we go around all sorts of edges and lips and all sorts of stuff of, of vessels. Right, I'm going to put some more in here. And we just keep going till we get it where we want it. Okay, well we finished this one while we're off camera there a little bit. And we're going to pop this into the kiln. And through the magic of video, voila, this is what it's going to look like when it comes out of the kiln. Now you notice that it it can smear and it's got a lot of excess mica on there. That's because it kind of self adjusts to get just the right amount of mica on there where it gives a nice luster and metallic sheen to it. Now we're using all black back decals here uh, so these will look the same on this white tile as they do on a black tile. But what we do here, notice how that that's going to wash off right there and that, that gold's going to look like it's on top of it. So I'm going to go over to the sink and wash this off with a scouring pad. If you want to follow me over there, we'll take a look and see. Here we are over at the sink. Notice how this is kind of uh, just sitting on top right now. This will kind of self, it kind of self adjusts. So we put a lot on there to make sure that everything gets saturated. But uh, we need to wash a lot of this off to get the, the, the best luster out of it. So. Uh, you just take the, the sponge and wet it, and I like to do this underneath the sink so it kind of washes it out of the way so it's not floating around, and just kind of give it a little scrub, and notice that uh, the stuff that looks like it's on top will start 
turn it into the background because it won't stick to one another. In other words, um, uh, the stuff that you put on first will look like it's in the foreground. But you can see how that really comes out to a nice luster when you, when you, when you scrub the excess off. All right, here's a white one, same thing. Notice it's just kind of sitting there. And here again, the mica will not stick to one another. So we're going to stick it underneath the faucet. And uh, watch how this turns out where it just doesn't stick. You've got to scrub it just a little bit. And all the stuff that was put on first will look like it's on top. And the stuff that's on the bottom will now come out on top. And notice the right there, there's a little bit there. You can scrub this fairly vigorously because it's on there to stay, but notice the notice the luster in there. Much more lustrous once you once you scrub the excess off of it. So there you go. Okay, I'm going to share with you a little trick now. There are some instances where you actually want the decal to float off the paper. When you're working with a very intricate design like this, if you try to slide it off the paper, edges are going to catch and turn under and you're just going to end up with a big mess. So you allow the intricate designs to float off the paper and this way you can take your tile and just go underneath it and lift it right up and bring it out, hold it in place, drain the water, put it where you want it, blot it dry, make sure you get all the little wrinkles out of it but same thing but that's the trick. You, uh, it really works to your advantage sometimes to actually uh, let it float off the paper. Same thing with this little tree. I'll show you how you, just, you go underneath it, pull it up, drain the water off of it, get it into position, and then you blot that dry as well. So that's how you get the really intricate uh, decals on your substrate without uh, ruining them because if you try to slide them off the paper all those little edges are going to catch and, and it's it's just trust me it's hard to do. Alright now I want to talk a little bit about the translucent colors and what you can do with those. Um, one, of the, one of the techniques is that you use the black or white decals. In this case you got black decals on white glass and white decals on black glass and then you can cover these after you fuse the black or the white onto the glass. In a second firing, you can put the translucent uh, satin shimmer over the top of it, and you'll get an effect uh, uh, of turning the, the uh, dark color into whatever color satin shimmer you put over the top of it. Over here to the left, we have some examples uh, of that happening. All of these. Uh, most of these, all of them except for the two dichroic ones on the bottom, have had either a black or white decal fired onto it already and then we have covered it with one of the three lilac, mint, or iris satin shimmer translucent colors and fired those in. So now what I'm going to do is, these have already been fired so I'm going to clean them off in the water so you'll see what happens to them. This is going to be interesting because this is actually a gold decal that had uh, a satin shimmer put over the top of it and it turned the, the background into a nice uh, blue. That was, an iris. that was the iris color there. This one should be interesting. It's got like a heart shape. Uh, uh, I think this is, a, this is going to be a two-toned uh, satin shimmer over the skull pattern. This is black glass, a white skull uh, decal, and then you have uh, the lilac outer, uh, I mean the lilac uh, heart, and the uh, iris uh, border on it. We'll continue. Here's the uh, sweet pea design in a white decal on black glass. And I think we've put a blue or an iris satin shimmer over the top of it. Here's uh, what we call the scenes. I've actually outlined it with a, a copper black one, but I put a blue uh, uh, 
translucent satin shimmer over the black decal that's on white glass. So let's give this a scrub and see what this looks like. See, it turns it blue. So we can continue with these. This is a, a, a black ivy design on white glass. I put a green or mint colored uh, satin shimmer translucent color over the top of it and fuse it on there. Give it a little bit of scrub and wherever the dark is that's where the the satin shimmer is going to the translucent satin shimmer is going to show up. So it's a really interesting technique that you can use. Here's another one. It's a bunch of squiggly white lines on black glass with a lilac satin shimmer over the top of it. Give it a bit of a scrub now the lilac becomes the background and the, and the white shows through. The lilac's showing because it's on the, it's on the black. Black makes it pop. Now these are interesting. These two dichroic ones that we did here, these are both the same color on dichroic glass. The one on the right there is a black backed iris or blue and the one on the left is a translucent blue. So you can see it acts just like dichroic glass. If you got a black back on it, it's going to show the full color. And then if it's a translucent, it's going to just give it kind of a hint of a heart. So it gives two entirely different techniques. So have fun with these. Let us know what you guys come up with because this is, this is all really, really new. And we're, we're looking for different ideas and uh, would love to hear from you. You can... Uh, Contact us at perfusionstudioglass.com or uh, any one of uh, uh, the distributors are, are going to be carrying these as well. So thanks for tuning in and happy fusing.